Greetings, everyone. Do you experience a sense of fear when observing these images? Are you interested in understanding how Chinese farmers transform these frightening creatures into a lucrative economic resource? Let's gather for a warm cup of tea and uncover the secret. This is a distinctive aquaculture operation that serves both medical and commercial purposes, particularly popular in China. Leeches not only hold a place as a traditional remedy in medicine, but also represent a significant source of income for numerous farmers. The leech farming industry is flourishing in China, with these blood-sucking creatures considered as soft gold. Annually, this industry generates a substantial income for farmers, estimated at approximately $555,500. The market price of leeches is exceptionally high, averaging about 800 Chinese yuan per 2.2 leibis, equivalent to $11.13. Leech farming involves raising and monitoring leech growth in a controlled environment for medical applications. The use of leeches for medical purposes has deep roots in Chinese history, with leeches utilized in traditional Chinese medicine to balance the body's energy, known as qi, and enhance blood circulation. Due to their benefits, many countries employ them for minor surgeries and they can be a viable option for treating infections in individuals who do not respond to antibiotics. Today, leech farming in China predominantly focuses on cultivating the species Herodinaria manilensis, a common type of leech extensively used in the medical field. These leeches play a crucial role in various medical procedures, including cosmetic surgery, reconstructive surgery, implant surgery, and the treatment of conditions such as arthritis and varicose veins. The process of leech farming comprises four main stages, egg incubation, breeding, nurturing and harvesting. Breeding involves selecting healthy and mature leeches of different sexes and placing them in a breeding tank. Mature leeches can lay eggs multiple times per year. After mating, the leeches are separated and female leeches are periodically inspected to check for egg pouches. Farmers then collect the eggs from the leech breeding area. It typically takes about two to three weeks for the embryos inside the eggs to develop and hatch into young leeches. During the nurturing stage, providing care for the young leeches necessitates a meticulously controlled environment where they receive optimal food and living conditions. Leeches can thrive in various conditions and their cultivation 
does not require significant investment in elaborate farm facilities. Leach tanks, typically made of plastic or mesh, can accommodate up to 1,000 leeches depending on their size. A well-maintained water system is crucial to ensure that the water remains clean and oxygen-rich for the leeches. The life cycle of leeches involves the larvae feeding on the blood of a host, attaching tightly until they mature and detach. As they grow larger, leeches will consume river snails, freshwater clams, insects, fish and amphibians. On average, Herodinionia can reach four to seven centimeter, while Herod medicinalis can grow to 10 to 15 centimeters. These mature leeches are transferred to a separate tank, where farmers intentionally starve them for a few weeks to digest any excess food they may have consumed before harvesting. After harvesting, the leeches are cleaned in water to remove dirt or contaminants. Curious about why Chinese farmers dry leeches in the sun? Dried leeches are believed to have a longer lifespan and stronger medicinal properties compared to fresh leeches. In China, leeches are widely employed in traditional medicine to enhance blood circulation and address ailments like arthritis, headaches, and skin ulcers. Dried leeches are also utilized in beauty products such as skin creams and lotions. We genuinely appreciate your support and enthusiasm for our channel. Your continued viewership means the world to us and we are committed to providing valuable content that enriches your knowledge and endeavors. Thank you wholeheartedly for being a part of our community.